Hi, I'm Kara Fraser. Welcome to today's class. Today's class will focus on the hips. So we'll start actually in Shavasana flat on the back. Legs, hips distance apart, feet splay out comfortably. Arms by the sides, palms facing up and eyes closed. Take these first few moments of class to start to relax. Come into the present moment. Let whatever happened earlier in the day just float out of your mind and any worries about tomorrow float out as well. And start to come into this present moment. So notice how your body feels as it rests on the mat. As you start to focus on the breath, notice how the body starts to relax. The breath starts to soften. And then hug the knees into the chest. And grab behind the thighs or around the shins. and rock from side to side, giving the back a little gentle massage. And then bring the legs back to stillness in the center. Place the palms of the hands on the knees and press the knees away from you as you straighten the arms and take the knees from side to side here. And then hug the knees back into the chest. Take the arms out to a T. Take an inhale. Exhale, take the legs to the right for a reclined twist. In these positions that we hold, notice where your mind starts to go. Are you able to connect with the feelings and the sensations in your body? Or do you start making a to-do list? Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, legs to the other side. If you find that your mind is crazy and that you're thinking of that to-do list, maybe you focus on the way the breath feels moving in and out of the body. Or maybe you notice what you're feeling in your body as you hold the pose. And then bring the legs back to center. Drop the knees down to, the, or the feet down to the mat, the knees, that would be kind of hard. And then cross the right ankle over the left thigh. You can keep that left foot planted on the mat, or you can draw that left thigh into the chest, grabbing behind the thigh or around the shin. Both feet are actively flexed here. Notice where you're feeling the stretch. And then uncross that ankle, bring the feet down to the mat. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh, bring that right thigh in. And 
find a lot of people really enjoy this stretch, especially if you sit in a chair all day. It probably feels pretty good. And then hug the knees into the chest. Drop the soles of the feet down to the mat. Ankles under knees. So the feet are about hips distance apart. Arms by the sides, palms facing down. And inhale, press, lift the hips low back mid back pressing into the feet exhale lower down inhale come up take the whole breath for the movement nice and slow exhale lower down inhale up last time and exhale come down hug the knees into the chest and rock along the length of the spine a couple of times till you can come up to a comfortable seated position. So two choices here. You can stay with the legs crossed in a comfortable position, Sukhasana. If you want, you can take the right shin parallel to the side of the mat, the left shin parallel to the front of the mat. But if you have bad knees, this may not feel good. So you're welcome to come back to a place that's comfortable for you. If you're in this position, try not to let that right hip hike up. Try and make the hip bones parallel to the floor. And then inhale, bring the arms up by the ears. Exhale, twist to the left. Left fingertips on the mat behind you, right hand on the outside of the left thigh. So sitting up nice and tall in the twist keeping the collarbones spread wide. Inhale, bring the arms back by the ears. Exhale, lower them down. And then wherever you are, change the cross of those legs. And then inhale the arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. I always like twist noticing where the breath happens in the body so this is a nice place to just focus on your breath and then inhale come up to center lift the arms exhale bring them down by the sides and cross over the shins come into tabletop so wrist under shoulders knees under hips inhale look forward pull the chest forward exhale round the upper part inhale pull forward exhale round inhale forward exhale round come back to a neutral spine bring the big toes together sit the hips to the heels child's pose couple breaths here inhale come up to table tuck the toes lift the hips up for downward facing dog and in this first down dog take any movement that feels good for you maybe you bend one leg straight and the other if you do it, take it nice and slow. Maybe you shake your head yes and no. Maybe you bend the knees deeply. Just getting a little movement here. And then gently walk the feet up to the hands, forward fold at the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the torso up halfway, long spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, arms out to the side. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, Plank to Chaturanga, halfway down. Inhale to up dog, lift the chest, straighten the arms. Exhale to down dog, hold here. And 
and down dog thinking of making an L shape with the body. So neutral spine, you're not getting an arch in the back or rounding. In order to do that, press into the hands, lift the hips up, draw the belly in and bring the chest towards the thighs and then press the heels down towards the mat. Take one more inhale. Exhale, slowly walk the feet up to the hands. Forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, lift the chest. Exhale to down dog. Hands are about shoulders distance apart, maybe a little wider. Feet hips distance apart. And then press into the hands, lift the hips as you press the heels down. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sit the hips back, chair pose. Exhale, fold over the thighs, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog, right foot comes up between the hands, back heel spins down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, step back, vinyasa to down dog. Left foot comes up between the hands, back heel spins down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa. And meet in downward facing dog, five breaths. Using down dog always as a place to find slow, steady breath. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sit the hips back, chair pose. Exhale, fold over the thighs, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Right foot comes up between the hands. Back heel spins down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, step back, vinyasa to down dog. Left foot comes up between the hands. Back heel spins down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa. And meet in downward facing dog, five breaths. Using down dog always as a place to find slow, steady breath.
take one more inhale. On the exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up and back. Exhale, bring the foot down between the hands for a lunge. And then drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Hands can stay on the mat or they could come up to yoga blocks. I find that some people find that to be a little more comfortable in this pose. And then inhale, bring the arms and the chest up. So press into the feet here, firm the outer hips in and then sink the hips down. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands down, frame the foot, tuck the back toe, lift the knee, hold here in this lunge. Keep pulling the chest forward to the front of the room, long spine. And then press into the feet, inhale, come up crescent. One more inhale, exhale, frame the foot, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up and back, exhale, bring the foot down between the hands for the lunge, drop the back knee, untuck the toes, hold here. Notice where you feel a stretch. For me, I feel it in the front of my right hip flexor. And then inhale, bring the arms and the chest up. Strong foundation pressing into that front foot. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands down, frame the foot, tuck the back toe, lift the knee, hold here in this lunge. Slow, steady breath. Inhale, come up for a crescent. Notice when you come up for these standing poses, the slower you go, the more control and stability you have. Take one more inhale. Exhale, frame the foot, step back, downward facing dog. Hold here. At any point, if you need to take table or child's pose, feel free to drop the knees down. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up and back. Exhale, bring the foot down between the hands for a lunge. Spin the back heel down, line the front heel up to the back arch, and then inhale, come up warrior two. Look over the right fingertips, arms to a T. Shoulders are soft. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, reach the fingertips forward, hips go back. Right palm comes to shin mat or maybe block on the inside of the foot. Gaze can go towards left fingertips or down towards the right foot. Inhale, come up warrior two. Exhale, frame the foot, step back, downward facing dog.
Inhale the left leg up and back. Exhale, bring the foot down between the hands for the lunge. Spin the back heel down. Inhale, come up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, fingertips come forward, hips come back. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Strong legs, so press into the big toe mound of the left foot and the outer edge of the right foot. Inhale, come up, warrior two, arms to a T. Exhale, frame the foot, step back, downward facing dog. Take one more inhale, exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, bring the arms up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up and back. Exhale, bring the foot down between the hands for the lunge and then drop the back knee, untuck the toes again. You may stay right here or maybe you bend that back knee and take the right hand to the left foot. This is pretty challenging, especially if you have tight um, quads or hip flexors in the front of the left leg. So you may not be able to do this today. If you have that foot, release it back to the mat, plant the hand, tuck the back toe, lift the knee, take the right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up and back. Exhale, bring the foot down between the hands, drop the back knee, untuck the toes, and then either stay here or bend that back knee, grab the right foot with the left hand. Keep pulling everything to the front of the room, long torso. you have the foot release it plant the hand tuck the back toe lift the knee step back downward facing dog five breaths always taking child pose if you need it if you don't use down dog as a resting pose take one more inhale Exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, bring the foot down between the hands. Spin the back heel down. Inhale, come up warrior two. Exhale, come forward, extended side angle, right forearm to thigh. Maybe the right palm comes to the mat on the inside of the right foot. And then bring the left hand to the hip. Bring that right hand down either to the mat or a block. Bring that back foot in and lift it up half moon pose. Maybe you bend that top knee, grab the foot. And then extend that leg back out. Bend into the standing leg, come back, extended side angle. 
Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, frame the foot, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up and back. Exhale, bring the foot down between the hands. Inhale, up warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. And then right hand to hip, left hand to mat or block as you lift that back leg up. Maybe you bend that top leg, grab the foot. And then straighten that leg. Bend into the standing leg, come back, extended side angle. Ooh, my mat was a little, <laughs> little crazy there. Inhale, F warrior two. Exhale, frame the foot, step back, downward facing dog. And then walk the hands back to the feet, forward fold at the back of the mat, hold here in the fold. Hands can come to mat or block, or you could grab opposite elbows and hang. You have the elbows, bring the hands back to the mat. Take the feet out wider than the hips. Spin the toes to the front corners of the mat. And then bend the knees, drop the hips to the heels, malasana. Hands come to prayer. Chest pulls up as you press into the feet, lift the chest. Maybe you close the eyes here. And then bring the hands back to the mat, lift the hips, straighten the legs. Bring the feet back, hips distance apart for a fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, walk the hands to the front of the mat, downward facing dog. Take one more inhale. Bend the knees, look between the hands, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. And then setting up for a tree pose. So feet hips distance apart hands on the hips put weight into the left foot as you bring the ball of the right foot to the mat so i always like to encourage people to take this progression slowly a lot of people just want to get to the highest progression of the pose but i like to get steadiness here first root down through the big toe mound of the left foot stack the shoulders over the hips then maybe if you feel good foot comes to calf and then if you feel good there, maybe foot comes to thigh. Hips parallel to the floor. Left hip comes in, firm that outer hip in. And then hands can come to prayer or up overhead. Lots of choices, you decide where you wanna go. If the arms are all the way up, bring the hands to prayer. And then slowly bring that foot back down to the mat. Arms by the sides, couple shoulder rolls. I always try to move out of standing balances as slowly as I move into them. Gives us a little more control and strength as we do that. So hands back to the hips, put weight into the right foot as you take the ball of the left foot to the mat and then take the progression at your own pace. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe the foot comes up. I just realized that I'm standing on an incline. <laughs> Funny how you can figure that out when you're balancing on one foot. 
that gives me a little more of a challenge today. It's good for me, right? Slow, steady breath. The arms are up, bring the hands back to prayer. Slowly take that foot down and bring the arms by the sides. Couple shoulder rolls, couple deep breaths. And then come back to Tadasana at the front of the mat. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank to Chaturanga. You can lower the knees if you need to. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, bend that knee, bring that leg forward for pigeon. So the outside of the right leg comes to the mat. That left leg should go straight back. So turn around and kind of check in with it. You can stay right here with the chest up, hands on the mat, or inhale, lift the chest up, and exhale, walk the hands forward any amount. The forearms may come to the mat, your forehead may come down and the arms straighten, you decide. If you have a block or a blanket, you could set it under this right hip as well. Sometimes it feels good to have a little support like that in this pose. Wherever you are, walk the hands back, lift the chest. Tuck the back toe, lift the knee. In one motion, come back three-legged dog, and then circle the leg. And then three-legged dog. Lower that leg down for downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up and back. Exhale, bend the knee, draw that leg forward, setting up for a pigeon on the second side. Looking back and checking in with that back leg. And then maybe you stay here, or maybe you inhale, come up, and exhale, come forward. This is a pose where I like to focus on my breath. So if I feel a little tension in my hip, on the exhale, I try and soften, try to relax, because I notice if I hold my breath, I get tense. It's kind of the opposite of what you want to happen. The breath is a very powerful thing. I say that a lot. And then walk the hands back, lift the chest, tuck the back toe, lift the knee in one motion, come back three-legged dog, and then move that leg around. And extend the leg up straight, Bring it down for down dog. And then walk the feet up to the hands, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. And then turn towards the long edge of your mat. Take the feet out wide. Bring the hands to the hips. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, hinge forward from the hips, wide leg forward, fold. Equal weight in toes and heels. Hug the thighs in towards each other, let the top of the head hang, spine gets long. If you've thought about all the movements we've done today, there are a lot of ways to kind of stretch and open up the hips. So we've been doing that today. Inhale, lift the torso up halfway, lift the belly, press into the feet. Exhale, keep the torso where it is, hands to hips. Inhale, long spine, come all the way up. And then walk the feet together feet hips distance apart. 
setting up for another standing balance pose here. So feet hips distance apart and then sit back like you're going to take chair pose. Put weight into the left foot as you lift the right foot and cross that right ankle over the left thigh. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe the hands come to prayer. You could stay here or you could come forearms to shins, two breaths here. And then maybe the hands come down, straighten the standing leg for a full two breaths. And then bend that standing leg, come out the way you came in, hands to prayer, forearms to shin, two breaths. And then slowly lift the chest and uncross that foot, foot to mat, arms by the sides, couple shoulder rolls. Couple deep breaths. And then second side, hands to hips. I almost fell over just standing on two feet. <laughs> it's amazing I can do anything. Bring the hands to the hips. At least I can laugh at myself. Bend the knees, sit back. Put weight into the right foot as you lift the left foot. Cross that left ankle over. Take whatever progression you want here. Hands can come to prayer. Forearms to shin. Hands to mat. Straighten the leg. And then come out the way you came in, wherever you are. And then bring the chest up, uncross the leg, arms by the sides, couple deep breaths. And come back to Tadasana at the front of the mat. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. And then drop the knees, sit the hips back to the heels for child's pose. walk the hands back lift the chest come to sitting on the heels and setting up for crow pose i have an arm balance series on my youtube channel so if you want it broken down and really take the time for an explanation you can watch that video it's really great slows it down but today we're just going to come into table tuck the toes lift the hips for down dog and walk the feet up to the hands for a forward fold. Then bend the knees, plant the hands, bring the knees to the armpits or upper arms, and look forward, lean forward, lift the feet. Three breaths. And then bring the feet down, come into a fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, drop the hips to the heels for just a regular squat with the knees together. And then a little balance here. So maybe the arms extend out or maybe the hands come to prayer. And then come back to seated. And I'll turn to face you so you can see me. So setting up for double pigeon, this can be really intense for a lot of people. So if it is, come back to just a comfortable cross leg position where the shins are crossed at the center. If you wanna try it, stack the right shin on the left shin and flex both feet. So I'm kind of not normal. I have really flexible hips. So you may not look like this and that's okay. If you have pain, don't do it. It's not worth it. Just cross the legs at the shin. So inhale, bring the arms up and exhale, come forward any amount, palms to the mat, maybe they walk forward.
and then walk the hands back, lift the chest wherever you are, change the cross of the legs. I almost rolled backwards into the little pond behind me. Those ducks probably wouldn't like that very much. Inhale, bring the arms up. Uh, exhale, come forward. Inhale, walk the hands back, lift the chest. Come up to the front of the mat, bend the knees, extend the arms. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, come all the way down. Hug the knees into the chest, rock from side to side. And then bring the soles of the feet down to the mat and take them out as wide as the mat. Arms to a T. Take an inhale. Exhale, take the knees to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. And then come back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. And then cross the right thigh over the left thigh. You can grab the feet or take the arms down to the mat. And then uncross the legs, hug the knees in. Take the left thigh over the right thigh, grab the feet or take the arms down to the mat. And then uncross the legs, hug the knees into the chest. Inhale, lift the forehead to the knees. Exhale, lower down. And straighten the legs, come into Shavasana. Close the eyes. Notice your breath. If I start class in Shavasana, I always like to notice how I feel at the end of class, especially compared to the beginning Shavasana. Notice how my body usually is warmer, feel more relaxed. But everyone is different and every day is different. So just notice how you feel. You're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. Otherwise, wiggle the fingers and toes. Circle the ankles and wrists. Reach the arms up overhead, stretch from fingers to toes. Roll off to the right side. Pause there. Press into that left hand. Come up to a comfortable seated position. Eyes closed, hands at heart center. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.